Introducing Jetline Marvel's first-ever aircraft encyclopedia, a must-have for aviation enthusiasts. Dive into a world filled with stunning images and fascinating details about the most iconic commercial and fighter aircraft. Explore the skies from the comfort of your home with this exciting collection. Now available on Amazon. The Tejas Mark II and the Gripen E are two advanced fighter aircraft designed to meet the evolving needs of modern air forces. The Tejas Mark II, developed by India, represents a significant upgrade over its predecessor, featuring enhanced capabilities and performance. On the other hand, the Gripen E, designed by Sweden Saab, is known for its versatility and efficiency in various combat scenarios. In this video, we will compare these two aircraft, examining their specifications, features, and potential roles in the air combat landscape, and understand how they stack up against each other. Let's compare both aircraft. The Tejas MK2 measures 14.65 meters, 48 feet, in length, while the Gripen E has a slightly greater length, which is 15.2 meters, 51 feet. The Tejas MK2 stands at a height of 4.87 meters, 16 feet, which is taller compared to the Gripen E height, which is 4.5 meters, 14 feet. The maximum takeoff weight for the Tejas MK2 is 17,500 kilograms, 38,581 pounds, significantly higher than the Gripen E, which has maximum takeoff weight is 16,500 kilograms, 36,376 pounds. The Tejas MK2 has a range of 3,000 kilometers, 1,900 miles, while the Saab Gripen E boasts a slightly higher maximum range, which is approximately 3,200 kilometers, 1,988 miles. Both aircraft carry the same internal fuel capacity of 3,400 kilograms, 7,500 pounds. The Tejas MK2 is powered by the F414 engine, offering 57.8 kN of thrust dry and 97.9 kN with afterburner. In comparison, the Gripen E is also powered by F414 engine, provides 64 kN of thrust dry and 98 kN with afterburner. The Tejas MK2 can achieve a maximum speed of Mach 1.8, while the Gripen E outpaces it with a maximum speed of Mach 2. The service ceiling of the Tejas MK2 is higher, which is 17,300 meters, 56,758 feet, compared to the Gripen E service ceiling of 15,000 meters, 49,200 feet. The Tejas MK2 is expected to feature 13 hardpoints, with a payload capacity of around 6.5 tons, while the Gripen E has 10 hardpoints and can carry up to 7.2 tons. The Tejas Mark II is equipped with a diverse range of missiles that cater to various combat scenarios. For air-to-air -air combat, it will carry advanced missiles like the Mica and Meteor for long-range targeting. 
The Osram will help with close-range defense, while the Astra, still being developed, will improve dogfighting abilities. The aircraft will also integrate the NGCCM for added air superiority. While Gripen E is equipped with various air to air missiles, including the infrared guided Iris T and the Beyond visual range meteor, it can also carry Sidewinder and A Darter missiles as alternatives to the Iris T and AMROM to replace the Meteor. Additionally, it can be fitted with long-range weapons like Ardarder and Derby, and short-range options such as Osram and Python. The Gripen E features landing gear positioned further from its main fuselage and closer to its wings, enabling it to support 10 pylon stations. This design allows the aircraft to carry more weapons in a single sortie. Additionally, the use of missile eject launcher pylons under the Gripenese belly facilitates the installation of extra pylon stations. In contrast, the Tejas MK2 will have eight pylon stations, similar to the MK1 airframe and is not expected to undergo significant changes in landing gear positioning to accommodate additional pylon stations, like those on the Gripen E. When it comes to radar capabilities, the Gripen E boasts a highly advanced system. Similarly, the Tejas MK2 is poised to be equipped with a top-tier ESA radar. Until the UTOM radar, is ready. Israel has already proposed the ELM-2052 radar. However, India has issued a tender for this system with a focus on technology transfer. Consequently, India will either acquire the ELM-2052 or a more advanced radar, ensuring that it will not fall short in performance compared to the Gripen's radar. The Tejas Mark II will feature a night vision, goggles-compatible glass cockpit, dominated by a touch-sensitive wide-area display, arranged in panoramic orientation, complemented by a wide-angle holographic head-up display system. It will adopt a hands-on throttle and stick arrangement with the stick on the right-hand side and throttle on the left-hand side, designed to reduce pilot workload When compared to previous Gripen models, the Gripen E boasts a vastly enhanced avionics system. The Gripen E will meet the rigorous operational requirements of air forces in the 21st century. The Gripen was designed to have a long service life of roughly 50 years with minimal maintenance requirements. The Gripen was designed to be adaptable, allowing for the addition of new sensors processors, and weaponry as technology advanced. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comments section.